guys. So um, I'm finally going to be able to do a how-to snowplow driveway video. So we're heading up to the driveway that I'm going to show you guys right now. And it's, it's a pretty easy one. I want to show something easy because anyone who's watching this is probably a beginner. And uh, so we'll make it kind of simple, at least for the first one. Maybe I can get more detail down the road. So. But uh, for any of you watching, some of you may be experts at snow plowing. This is my opinion on everything. Um, snow plowing doesn't have to be done an exact way. There's better way to, to do things than maybe what I'm showing. Um, a lot of it's personal preference. So, um, you know, the advice I give doesn't have to be taken. It's just my personal experience with snow plowing. So usually what I do is I open up the beginning of the driveways, I push off to both sides. This driveway doesn't really have a flare, so... So... I'm going to try to kind of push it off to the side just to get the, the beginning open. Um, like I said, usually driveways have flares and you'll you'll have to really do a few good pushes at the beginning. This one you can almost just drive straight in. So you want to have a game plan um, on what side you're going to push it to. So I'm pushing to the right side. I'm going to start on the left so I can do this whole driveway in two, two pushes. And I'm pushing to the right because um, I'm going to push all the snow right here to the right side of the garage. So before you plow, you want to kind of devise a plan where you're going to push the snow. Um, after pretty much probably the first time of doing a driveway, you'll, you'll have a game plan as to what's going to work best for that specific driveway. And uh, it may take a few tries to get a good, good plan together, but that's the only way you're going to figure things out is by trying it. So you have to be very mindful when you're plowing of uh, your surroundings. Um, like right now you can't see it but I'm backing up and the neighbor's driveway across the street is directly behind me and he's in the road snow blowing. So you constantly have to be aware when you're snow plowing. You know, roll down your windows, you'll be able to hear and you'll be able to see a lot better. That's a huge piece of advice that I think anybody who's snow plowed for a while will agree with. You always want to have your windows rolled down. Um, and a big thing too is take your time. You make mistakes when you uh, try to speed th through things. So just take your time, take it easy. Don't try to be Superman. Um, and to go with that, taking it easy is going to make it a lot easier on your truck too. If you're, some of these guys are out there beating on their trucks, you know, they're, they're trying to do driveways in a couple minutes and they're destroying their trucks because they're not waiting to shift and they're slamming into piles and I am a huge promoter of taking care of your equipment. Um, we're in an industry where it's all of our equipment is expensive and uh, it should all be taken care of so go easy on your equipment your, your trucks keep them clean that's a huge part as far as rust you know in New England and with the salt we use a heated power washer to wash our trucks after every single storm. Um, we also started this year using this um, undercoating called fluid film. So we have our trucks undercoated with you know your normal rubber undercoating, but we also use this fluid film, which is just uh, it's kind of like an oily film that goes on the frame and it keeps stuff from sticking to it. And uh, so you know, invest money into keeping good care of your stuff so 
Um, that was it. I mean, simple driveway. Sometimes you're going to run into driveways that are tricky and you're going to have to just devise a plan, you know, try things out, see what works, see what doesn't. And uh, yeah, just take it easy and it's something everybody can, it's, it's easy and you can catch on really easy. It just takes a little bit of time, time and practice like anything. So hopefully you guys uh, got something out of that. And um, if you guys want to see how I do like specific setups, um, you know, some trickier stuff, feel free to let me know if you have any questions on how I would do stuff, feel free. And if you are somebody who disagrees with anything I said and has some different advice, feel free to comment because any advice is welcome. So thanks guys and uh, hope you enjoyed.